If you click on the Quick Selection tool in the Tools panel, you'll find another automatic selection tool, the Magic Wand tool. The Quick Selection tool works so well in so many situations that you may be wondering why you'd ever choose the Magic Wand tool. Well, there is at least one situation where the Magic Wand tool can do a better job for you. And that's one like this, where you want a selection to jump the gap. In other words, you want to select pixels that are not next to one another in the image, like the separate areas of blue in this photo. So press on the Quick Selection tool in the Tools panel and select the Magic Wand tool from the flyout menu. Leave all of the options at their defaults for now, including the check mark on the Contiguous option. In the Layers panel, make sure that the Tree layer is selected, and then click anywhere on the bright blue sky in the photo. Because you left Contiguous checked, the Magic Wand tool has selected only the blue pixels that are next to one another, not those that are separated by the tree. So let's do that again, this time with Contiguous unchecked. First deselect by pressing Command-D on a Mac or Control-D on Windows. Then in the Options bar, uncheck Contiguous. And this tells the Magic Wand that you want to select pixels that are not necessarily adjacent to one another. Then click on the blue sky. And the Magic Wand tool jumps the gap presented by the tree and selects all the blue pixels that are similar to the one on which you clicked. Now at first that looks like just what we wanted, but it really isn't a perfect result. If you were to look closely, you'd see that there's a gap between some of the marching ants and the tree. So if you were to delete the selected sky now, there would be a thin border of blue sky left around the trees. One way to fix that is to experiment with another Magic Wand tool setting, the Tolerance setting. So let's deselect Command-D on the Mac or Control-D on Windows and give the Tolerance setting a try. With Tolerance set to its default of 32, when you click on a particular blue pixel, the Magic Wand will select similarly colored pixels within a range of luminance levels that includes 32 levels brighter and 32 levels darker than the pixel you click on. If you increase Tolerance, that will increase that luminance range and will result in more blue pixels getting selected. And of course, the opposite would be true if you decrease the tolerance setting. Now, the problem is there's no way to know what value to put in the tolerance box other than to experiment. I've already done that with this image, so I can tell you that we need a much higher tolerance to force the magic wand to select all the pixels that we want it to. So I'm going to type in 70 in this case. Then I'll click on a blue area of the image and to delete all the selected blue pixels, I'll press Delete or Backspace on my keyboard, and then Command-D on the Mac or Control-D on Windows to deselect. And that's just the result we wanted, to select and delete all of the bright blue sky on the tree layer so we can see down through that area to the more interesting sky on the layer below. Let's switch to another image to talk about another way to control the Magic Wand tool. Here, I want to select the sky around this biker, and as in the first photo, there are lots of little non-adjacent areas of sky to select. So we'll leave the contiguous setting turned off and we'll go to the tolerance setting and return it to its default of 32 by just typing that in and click somewhere in the sky. That did jump the gaps and selected a lot of the small non-contiguous areas, but it didn't select the whole sky because this sky has a wide range of luminance values from light blue to darker blue. If we were to increase the tolerance to try to include a wider luminance range, we might end up selecting lots more than just the sky. So instead, we'll use the Add to Selection option. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard to switch to Add to Selection, and then click on some of the areas that you didn't select initially to include those in the selection. If that also selects some areas that you don't want to include, like down here in the shoe, hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows and click there to try to remove those areas from the selection. So now we have a pretty good selection of the sky. Let's go over to the Layers panel, click the New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. And in the Properties panel, drag the Hue slider to a color that you like. So the next time that you need to jump a gap to select non-adjacent pixels, give the magic wand a try and experiment with its contiguous, tolerance, and add two options to get just the result that you want.